come back to the class. Right, today I'm going to cover the M1 machine on the feature. It's being called print and cut. I guess a lot of you guys has been uh, wondering how to actually use up this feature, the print and cut feature. It's a very simple uh, process. Uh, I hope you guys can be able to follow me. Uh, I printed out a logo down here. All right, and you put it onto your cutting mat. Okay, after you print, you just put it onto your cutting mat. And after that, you will actually hit the refresh button down here. Just hit the refresh button. Okay, so thereafter, do select your blade cut because this is going to be a blood, uh, a blade cut feature. All right, the material you can go on, it depends on your. Um, let's say, for example, if you want to print onto a vinyl, right? So you already printed onto you printed onto a printed vinyl. So you actually put it onto the mat, right? So from here, what we're going to go is we're going to make use of this extract feature down here, right? So this is the extract feature. So we will click this, and uh, I'll. I will use the crop feature down here and I will pop this up. I hit the check mark. I remove the background by hitting the, the background of this image. Thereafter, I save this. Right. So this is the one we already extract. Okay. And the next step we're going to go in will be we go into the outline. The outline by default is 2mm. It depends on what are the uh, offset line that you would like. So by default is 2. Maybe I want to go into 2.5. I hit OK. So I drag this out. So this is the one, the outline feature, right? So I will select this. I will delete. I move this. And I will overlap onto the, the original image down here. Right, so just to make sure that this everything is in order. Okay. So the next step that you would like will be you go into the and go into the process. Okay, so from here you can go into the framing or you can hit the start. If I hit the start, uh, you will go into the, the start button onto in front of your machine. Just press the start. I will come back onto the uh, actual results of the cut. Okay, after we secure the printed uh, material onto the uh, cutting mat, all right, so do make sure that you your blade already being uh, loaded, all right? So the blade is actually located here. Okay, so this is the blade. Okay, so do make sure that uh, it's being out, all right? So you can be able to adjust Right, I hope you guys can be able to see. Right, so you can be able to adjust the blade. Okay, so how further it can actually expose it up. Okay, so this is how you adjust the blade. Okay, and uh, put it back. Close the lid and press the front button and let it cut. All right. Okay, so it's being cut. You just open up the cover. Alright, so you use your reading to be able to read all this up. So what you can be able to do is uh, just use the reading tool. So this is the one, okay, we just have to read this out and we already successfully actually cut out this uh, print and cut feature. Okay, so this is 
this is the one successfully being cut out so you just have to read it out okay so this is how the print and cut feature works i hope you guys uh, did follow the whole tutorial bye see you again